Fedora 38 has been released this week, and it features kernel 6.2 and GNOME 44. Something that I like about Fedora is that it uses the very recent software. But I am excited to give this distro a full review, which I will do today. Just what is Fedora Linux? Its actual name is Fedora Workstation. Fedora is a Linux distribution that comes with the basic office applications and drivers that you will need out of the box in order to have a staple and functioning computer workstation. More about flat packs is coming up. It comes with ready to go software like LibreOffice. It's got a weather wrap. Of course, the calculator. It's all set up with virtualization software called GNOME Boxes. And of course, it's going to have the Firefox web browser. So it includes Linux kernel 6.2. And this new kernel has some enhancements. And uh, it, some of the enhancements are memory fragmentation fixes, improved Rust language support that alleviates some issues with formatting, memory allocation, and printing, among other things. It's got better hardware support. So that's a good thing. And this is something that I have experienced myself because on my Lenovo Yoga C740 laptop, all my keyboard buttons now seem to work flawlessly, whereas they did not using the previous kernels. And then we have flat packs. So I think we've all heard about flat packs unless you're brand new to Linux. So I'll explain a couple of things here. The first, uh, one of the greatest things about this release is that flat pack applications are fully available to install right off the bat. All right, for you new guys, if you're wondering what a flat pack is, here's a definition provided on flathub.org, and I'm going to read it verbatim here. This is straight from the website. Flat pack is a framework for distributing desktop applications across various Linux distributions. It has been created by developers who have a long history of working on the Linux desktop and is run as an independent open source project. So flat packs are kept more up to date in general compared to the applications and distribution. So you're always getting the latest and greatest software repositories. Fedora now lets you get an unfiltered view of all available flat packs. And I think that's great because this means you can install flat packs from external sources and not just the ones on the Fedora repositories. And sometimes they weed some of the ones they don't like out. And I think the main reason is probably because some of these apps may be proprietary and Fedora, those guys are all about open source software and there's nothing wrong with that, of course. But, you know, you might want to get some proprietary software that's that's uh, bundled up into a flat pack that you can download and install. So no longer, you no longer have those filters. So that's, that's pretty good. I personally think that flat packs are the cohesive bond between Linux distros, flavors that Linux users like you and I need to see. And I think they're going to be around for many years to come. You may have heard of other packaging systems like AppImage, Snap Packages, which is what you see in Ubuntu Linux, and others. But in my opinion, flat packs seem to work better. They are kept up to date better and tend to open quicker than others. And just so you know, you either use the software store to install them, and on Fedora they use the GNOME software app. Or if you are in love with doing stuff on the command line, like a lot of people are, and that's fine, you can also install them from there using a simple command. I won't explain it on this video, but uh, maybe in another one, if you if you want me to do that, please uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll, I'll do that. Fedora 38 features the latest GNOME version, as I just said, and that's GNOME 44. And some of the changes you will notice straight away are things like a new lock screen. It's nice and simple and look, looks pretty good. An unfiltered view of flat packs in the software store, as I just discussed. So I just got to tell you, um, I'm really liking this. Um, I have used KDE Plasma for years, and some of my computers uh, run uh, Linux Mint with Cinnamon. But, uh, you know, I thought I'd try out GNOME 44 on Fedora 38, and I'm liking it. It's a little strange uh, to me because I'm so used to Plasma. It's a whole different workflow, and it's going to take me time to get used to it, but uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Something to keep in mind is that this version with GNOME 44 isn't the only flavor at the ice cream shop, right? Or I should say at the Linux shop. You can also download the following Fedora spins, like 
KDE Plasma desktop. And I'm a big KDE Plasma fan, so I'm going to check that out here pretty soon. Perhaps tomorrow I'll install that on another computer. They also have the XFCE desktop, LXQT, Mate, oh, I'm sorry, the way to pronounce that is Mate Compiz. Uh, the Cinnamon desktop, which is the Linux Mint flagship desktop. We'll see how that looks compared to Linux Mint. LXDE SOAS, which I have no experience with. So I'll be looking at that, see what the hell it is. An i3 Tally window manager version. They also have flavor with the Budgie desktop. And then, of course, they have Sway. That's another one I haven't used at all is Sway. So it's something I'm going to be checking out in the future just, just for kicks and grins, I guess. All right, guys. So what I like about this release, GNOME is just a freaking good looking desktop. It looks nice. It's, it's pretty. I've always liked the way it looks, and now it looks even better. There's not going to be any changes in this GNOME version that will jump out at you and uh, surprise you or anything like that. But there's a couple of subtle ones, and they're pretty nice. Um, just the way it looks, the way the windows presented, the shading, the default themes, you know, the light theme, the dark theme. Uh, they look pretty nice. I haven't uh, done much with theming. All I've done so far is just uh, install the extension called Dash to Dock because I like to have that taskbar at the bottom. It's just hard for me to do everything at the top of the screen. To me, it's weird. If you have seen any of my other videos, you know that I'm a big KDE fan. But I plan to use Fedora 38 with GNOME 44 for a while in order to get used to GNOME's weird workflow. And to me, it is weird. I'm already getting used to it in the past couple of days I've been using it and I'm getting there. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. And this is a challenge that I keep telling myself that I'm going to take on someday. And well, I'm finally going to do it. Well, that's about it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. Wouldn't hurt anybody if you subscribed. That would help me out. Um, as I've said in other videos, and I plan to get rich and famous off of these, but you know, it's kind of cool to increase uh, the likes and subscriptions so that perhaps I can be more of a help to people out there that are messing around with Linux or just want to know about Linux and what it's all about. So like I said, that's all I have for today. We will see you all later. Hey guys, so if you can find it in your heart to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the like button down there. Uh, that'd be cool. Uh, I just started doing these videos not too long ago, maybe a month ago. And uh, I'm still learning a lot of stuff. But the one thing that I do know is uh, I really like talking about Linux. Um, I really have nobody around me that that uh, that I know that uses Linux. I think there's one person at work that that said he uses an Ubuntu server, and that's about it. So I, I like getting online and uh, talking to people about Linux and doing these videos. So I think it's cool. Uh, so if you can uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, I promise I will get better. Right now I kind of stink at these videos, but I'm learning some things. I'm using Nobia Studio uh, to record, um, taking a lot of screenshots, um, and uh, getting used to uh, video editing using Kaden Live, which is a great open source piece of software, as is OBS. So uh, if it's cool, go ahead and do that for me, please, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks.